What's good, YouTube? Hit man, X. Make sure you hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. I tried to play some music for y'all early on, but it didn't work. Uh, yes, I'm doing a pre-recording because I ain't really got too much time to be going live. I just wanted to get my quick thoughts on this on this series before it started. Um, listen, first of all, shout out to the Suns for getting past the Clippers. I understand there was a lot of injuries, but um, if it was the other way around, I highly doubt that people would be so uh, generous to us as far as like pushing narratives and you know, saying, oh, the Clippers be the hurt team. You know, it's just, it's always us being the hurt team. And to, to an extent, yeah, I have a point. Like, I, I look, I just hate the fact that they weren't healthy. Um, I was on the phone with Showtime. It's partially the reason why I'm, you know, doing a video now. Showtime got me back inspired to talk basketball. Um, and I'm, I wanted to see them healthy, right? I wanted to beat them healthy. And I wanted to get that, 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 that stripe on our, on our shoulder saying that we beat the Clippers full strength, right? Like, in the perfect scenario, we beat the Clippers. We played – we we faced the Clippers full strength. Win or lose, we faced the Clippers full strength. But that just just doesn't seem to be in our cards right now. So we can't focus on that. We have to focus on the next object objective, and that's getting past the Clippers, and that's getting to the next round and getting past the Nuggets or the Timberwolves, whoever it is. And the Suns did that. So shout out to Devin Booker for putting the team on his back. Um, First of all, I don't believe – that we should be relying on that, seeing how Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, all these guys playing over 40 minutes. Uh, Chris Powell's around 38. I think uh, uh, DA the same. But for the most part, our, our number one and number two is playing over 40 minutes. And that's not really uh, ideal going into a series like this. I feel like we should be able to get our bench more involved now that we got the first round uh, monkey off of our back. And with a team like this, I believe DA and CP3 pick and roll can be uh, more effective against a guy like Jokic or even a Thomas Bryant than in the other round with Miles uh, Mason Plumey and uh, Zubac or Covington, whoever the hell they running at the big right. So or, or Batum, right? Russell Westbrook and a great defense he played. Like it's a lot of guys over here in in Denver. I feel like aren't as uh, physical defensively with Devin Booker. I mean, maybe Bruce Brown, but KCP is not really that physical with Devin Booker where he's going to get him out of his, his rhythm. Uh, nobody's going to be able to really be a big guy to guard CP3. You know, so like like they don't have a Terrence Mann over there, right? They don't have a Robert Covington. They don't, they don't have these guys – that you can that has a size advantage on CP3 to get him out of like to full court pressure and make him have to work just getting the ball up court, right? So this is going to be an offensive shootout, um, but defensively, I feel like we got a slight edge. Like I get okay, we're talking about the bench. It's a clear edge on a on a clip. I mean, on a Nuggets side, right? I mean, they're be clearly better than us off the bench, but their starters are going to play the majority of the game, and we're talking about starter from starter. I feel like we have a clear advantage to start the game off with the best defensive team and probably the better offensive team as well. So um, my, my keys to this victory is simple. We got to get CP3 and DA in that pick and roll action, right? I know it didn't really look that effective last series, but this is a series that's prime ready for us to get that type of action going. Um, I pay attention to the Timberwolves series, and I thought the Timberwolves did a great job getting Rudy Gobert involved. Um, it was a lot of dunk off, dunk, dunk off passes for, for, for Gobert off that baseline or even the corner shooter, whoever that may be, to, to get open cuts because jo Jokic sells out on the, on the pick and roll, right? When he blitzing, when they when they blitz Anthony Edwards, they found very, very good ways to be effective and score off that, that action, right? Make him pay for selling out defensively, right? So that's one way we have to attack. Another way we have to make Jokic a score. We have to we have to live with whatever buckets he's getting. The moment we start double teaming and selling out and leaving shooters open, Jokic is too intelligent of a of a playmaker to not see that. So we have to be cognizant of the fact that if we double team, we sell out, we're not going to force him into turnovers. The point of of, of double teaming should be getting a guy to turn the basketball over. Jokic is not that type of guy that's going to make a, a dumb pass coming off the double screen, double team. He's going to find those guys, and you have to just live with whatever buckets he gives you. If Jokic is going to go out here and get 40, let him get 40, right? 
At the end of the day, we have to play one-on-one -on -one defense. And if there's one guy on a, uh, in the league that I, I trust in the West against Jokic, it's D.A. D.A. shown the capability of playing Jokic one-on-one -on -one and making him uncomfortable. Not offensively as far as scoring, but offensively as far as finding open shooters, getting those guys involved off his action, off the fact that he's so dominant that we the team has to sell out and double team. No, we have to keep that same energy. Play him one-on-one -on -one like we did 2021. Make him a, a, a scorer as opposed to a playmaker. And we'll be able to live with whatever Jokic does and still do what we need to do, right? At the end of the day, we're not as good as a defensive team as we were that year. So we have to live with the fact that, okay, we're going to get scored on. Cool. If we're going to get scored on them, let him go out there and get 50 because we know he doesn't want to do that. He wants to get his triple-double. He wants to get – every. He, they need to get everybody else involved off of Jokic because they don't have a real true facilitator outside of Jokic. So you got to get rid of the facilitator, right? Period, point blank. So, like I said, this series, in my opinion, is a six-game series for the Suns. Um, I think we get game one. I think we get this game today um, fairly easy because the way Jokic is talking, I don't even think he's mentally prepared to see the Phoenix Suns. And um, I, th I think Devin Booker, uh, Kevin Durant, is just on a mission. Maybe CP3 is. Maybe he's seeing the writing on the wall. Maybe he's seeing that his career is, is coming to an end. But, um, I just don't trust him right now. I, 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 or even in the fourth quarter, a lot of people was telling me, oh, well, fourth quarter CP3 is different. I don't trust him in the fourth quarter either, man. He's just a sellout, man. You don't never let nobody put their hands on your mama, bro, and you come out the next game and you play like shit, bro, and you foul out. Like, I ain't never going to let him let that one down, man. I'm sorry, y'all. It is what it is, y'all. Y'all can say I'm being a jackass. It is what it is, bro. Like, the way we went out last year, came down a lot a lot of that came down on cp3 y'all we just got to call out how it is now we got kevin Durant, so hopefully it's a different story but i gotta see it to believe it first but i do feel like we can beat this team we can beat the nuggets easily but when it comes to the warriors or the lakers or the kings whoever comes out out, out of that second round it's going to be a tougher matchup for us than the nuggets right it just is what it is I, I haven't seen too much from the Nuggets to say that they're that much better than us if they are, right? And we still don't know what version of the Suns we're going to get. And if this version is the worst version of the Suns, if this version that we're seeing is the, is, is the floor for the Suns, it's only, you can only go up from here, right? Because I still feel like they have a lot of improvement to do. Kevin Durant... Kevin Durant has to be fucking Kevin Durant. He can't keep because this is not oh a coincidence that Kevin Durant's allowing the double team and just allowing his team and playing passive. This is something he did in Golden State. If you remember those OKC Golden State matchups, Russell Westbrook was guarding KD one on one, and and maybe they'll send a blitz, but he was allowing everybody else to to get theirs off, and he just sitting back and, and chilling, and allowing like KD. We don't need that. We need you to be Kevin Durant. Give us a 40 ball. Remind the NBA who, who the fuck you are, right? Giannis got eliminated. Uh, uh, Joel's probably going to get eliminated. All these top guys they say are better than you are out the league. Luka hasn't even played in the playoffs. He ain't got not one minute in the playoffs this year. So all these guys they say was better than you are, most of them are out of the uh, playoffs right now. This is your chance to, to solidify yourself on that top of that list. You did? And this is your moment. And Kevin Durant just can't allow the, the defense to dictate what he does. He has to come out here and be assertive, and, and we're still waiting on that. And that's why I say if this is the floor, the NBA is in trouble, right? Period, point blank. We ain't going to even talk about next year and what we do next year. We're focusing on this year. Uh, it's championship or bust. I don't give a fuck how many games we played together. It's championship or bust for the Phoenix Suns. I'm standing on that. And we got to get past the Nuggets first. This is not going to be an easy, an easy series for us, but it is a very wonderful series for us. Period. Point blank. Hit man next. That's all I got, though. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.